Hello, I'm Forrest Witt, a senior application engineer with Electro Industries Gauge Tech. I'm going to demonstrate the easy steps required to install one of our shark meters. The shark series meters are a flexible family of power monitoring products designed for both new installations and retrofit applications. Specifically, we're going to cover wiring connections to our meters. Since all shark meters are very similar in how they're installed, we'll talk specifically about how you would install a shark 200 meter. For our most basic configurations, we'll only need to provide control power and then the current and voltage sensing inputs to the meter. Let's start with the CT inputs. For most Y configurations, we will have three CTs to wire to the meter, and for delta configurations, we usually only need two CTs. More on the connection diagrams later, but first, let's look at a typical CT. This CT has wire leads. Some have terminals. It is critical that we both orient and wire the CTs correctly. For most installations where we are measuring energy consumption by a load, we first orient the CT so that the high side, signified on this CT by the white dot, is pointed toward the source of the energy. So, we would put the main through the center and point the high side away from the load. The next critical step is the connection to the meter. The white wire is the high side and black goes to the low side. Remember that CTs are always shorted when on a live circuit. So, if you can't shut down the circuit to install or work on the meter, you will want to install a shorting block between the CT and the meter. Most of the meters we sell are class 10, so you will want to use a primary side over 5 for the secondary. For example, a 500 over 5 CT produces 5 amps in the secondary for 500 amps on the primary side. Now, let's move to the voltage inputs for the meter. On the connector at the back of this Shark 200, you will see the following designations. VA, VB, VC, and VREF. For a Y, we simply connect the voltage inputs for each phase to the corresponding connection and neutral to the VREF input. For deltas, it's a little more complicated. We connect VA and VC to their respective terminals and then short VB and VREF. Please refer to the user's manuals for more information on making these connections. While we're on the subject, let's talk about PTs. PTs are used to step down the voltage inputs to a meter. But for 48277 systems, you can connect the voltage sense inputs directly to the meter without using PTs. For higher voltage systems, you will need to step down the voltage to 408 volts or less. Finally, we need to provide power for the meter itself. We have two power supply options, and these vary slightly depending on model. For this Shark 200, one option is a low voltage 18 to 60 volt DC option, and the other takes 90 to 265 volts DC or volts AC. If you are on a 480 volt system, you will need to provide a step down transformer since even the phase to ground voltages will be too high. So now we have the basics. We have our CTs and PTs and control power. Next, if we need it, we'll wire our communications. For this Shark 200, we can either have Ethernet, fiber optic, or two-wire half-duplex RS-485. For our Shark 200, it comes with RS-485 in its basic configuration. Check the ordering information at the end of all of our Shark brochures to see what communication options are available. Our Shark S models even have Wi-Fi as an option, as seen here. For a specific example, of how to wire your shark meter, please download the user's manual from our website. Chapter 4 covers all the basic wiring options. If you have something that's different than this, please contact me or our support team and we'll be glad to assist you in knowing how to wire your specific configuration. After you have the meter wired in, you'll need to program the scaling values for the CTs and PTs as well as tell the meter if you're connected to a Y or a Delta. We cover two possible methods to do this in other videos. Please contact me 
or our customer engineering team, or go to our website for full details on the features, capabilities, and benefits of these products.